everyone, thanks for watching. I'm so excited to announce that this is my very first collaboration video. Super exciting. And I am doing this video with Destiny Marie, this beautiful, sweet person right here. Her channel name is Destiny Marie. You can also find her on Instagram at Destiny Barba underscore. And it's going to be our take on our summer essentials. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing, if you are going out and you want to stay dry, especially in the really hot summer weather, I have a video on this already, but I wanted to mention it here because this will save you. This is Certain Dry Antiperspirant, and this is something that you would put on the night before, and it will help you from being a hot, sweaty mess in the next day, next two days. Just put this on the night before and you won't be sweating at all you know on your skin or through your clothes or whatever you don't have to be self-conscious but this is absolutely amazing and for me it's a must if i don't want to be sweating uh, you know at a party or a hot summer day thing i always always wear sunscreen no matter if it's sunny out cold out and I have just recently picked this up. I know that they say that any SPF over like, I don't know, 45 or something like that just doesn't make any sense. But you know what? If they offer 100 SPF, I'm going to buy it. And this was from CVS. And it's light, clean, oil-free, won't clog pores, water-resistant for 80 minutes. Dermatologist, really? Dermatologist tested. And it is UVA, UVB protection compared to Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. So I really like this because sunscreens obviously can be very thick, very creamy, especially when they're a white consistency, they can look really chalky on your skin. But this Ultra Sheer formula really truly does go on like a nice moisturizer. So again, sunscreen all the way. I use this only on my face right now because I have other screen, sunscreen for my body, but I've used this, been using this for a week now. I absolutely love it. I put this on with my moisturizer before all of my makeup and it really doesn't cost me any problems, no breakouts, and it feels nice. It just melts into my skin and I don't feel like I have really thick sunscreen on, so which is really great. So as far as sunscreen all over my body, I use this Banana Boat. It's for kids but I use it for myself. I actually don't use this on my daughter. It's 50 plus SPF. It's fragrance free, hypoallergenic, again, water resistant, 80 minutes and alcohol free, tear free, sting free. This you have to spray outdoors. You don't want to do it inside because it is aerosol and you don't want it to be, you know, flying everywhere. So this is nice. It does kind of go on a little bit like oily, I would say, but I kind of like the way that looks. It kind of makes me look like I have like baby oil on my skin, which obviously I don't, but this just gives me a really nice sheen. If you don't like super oily sunscreens, then you probably won't like this, but I personally like to just put it all over my skin. It gives my skin a really nice kind of sheen, and then I just wash my hands afterwards, and then it kind of dries, but it leaves my skin looking really nice. This is my go-to sunscreen right now for all over. My next summer essential is my Argan Wear Argan Oil by Physicians Formula. This stuff is so cool, I love it. You can wear this on your face, in your hair, all over your body. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It has some shimmer in it. It's gonna make you look like just a goddess, really. I use this with my foundation, under it, over it. I mix it in with my foundation. I mix it with just my moisturizer. I put it in my hair to kind of give my hair some sparkle. It's not like an obnoxious sparkle where you feel like you're a disco ball. It just makes you look like, like I said, like a goddess. It's just, ugh, I love it. My next summer essential is my waterproof eyeliner. This one is by Rimmel, Scandalized Waterproof Coal Kajal. I believe that's how you would say it. It's by Rimmel London. And this stuff, I mean, being on the search for a waterproof eyeliner, this is obviously in black. This stuff I put on my waterline specifically and I smudge it a little bit like at my lash line and then especially on my waterline, which I have a lot of issues with because I have very watery eyes, plus I wear contact lenses. This stuff, I have to take a Q-tip, a wet Q-tip, and try to rub it off of my eyes, my waterline especially, and it's still, still, is difficult to take off. So that's what I love about this eyeliner. It's just, it's waterproof, smudge proof, and it does exactly what it says it does. Another waterproof product that I love for my eyes, especially during the summer, is this waterproof Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. Okay, first of all, this Maybelline mascara is like forever, forever, like the best mascara on this planet. 
So I got the waterproof formula. I use this when I know I'm gonna to go to the pool or if it's gonna be a very hot, sweaty day and I don't want my mascara to be all over the place because that kind of happens with me, especially right here on my eyelids. Um, does anyone else have that issue? It's so embarrassing because I don't know that my mascara is like all over my eyelids until later that day I check in the mirror and I've got these black spots on my eyelids. I mean, just, it's just annoying. So to solve that issue, I put this on over my regular mascara, non-waterproof. I put this over it. I make sure I coat the front or bottom of my eyelashes and then also on the very top. And then I also put this on my lower lashes as well. And it really does the trick. The next summer essential that I have as far as makeup goes is this cargo blush and it's water resistant blush. The shade is called Los Cabos. This is such a gorgeous, kind of like a coral color, and it has a little bit of shimmer in it, which makes it a lot of fun, especially during summer, and you kind of want to get your little J-Lo glow on. Lastly, for beauty, for my summer essentials, is SPF Lip Balm. If you can find a lip balm that has SPF in it, it'll be great, great, great for your lips because your lips need to be protected by the sun too. I put this on before I put anything else on and then I just use this to retouch up. I can use this with lip liner or underneath lip gloss. Now on to clothing and accessories. So I wanted to show you guys here a swimsuit that I just recently got. It's so freaking cute. It's this blue and white striped one piece. It has padding um, up here on the top and the adjustable straps. I love that it's kind of kind of ruched like in the middle and it's got kind of like a ruching at the top here crisscross. It is super comfortable and it's actually very flattering on, especially for you mommies who just had babies or even if you are pregnant, this would look really cute on too. I had to have a C-section with my daughter and so I mean, I just feel a little bit self-conscious sometimes because all of my bikinis pre-baby are like super low cut. But now I just feel a little bit more comfortable making sure that my scar is covered. And you know, that's it. I just wanna be more comfortable when I'm out there chasing my daughter or laying out. Another swimsuit that I got is this La Blanca swimsuit, which I am in love with. It's all white and it's um, strapless, but it does come with straps that you can wear. I love the ruching on this because it's just so flattering on the body. And here's the back here. It's super comfortable. Again, the padding on the front and it fits like a glove. Also, another summer essential is a cover-up. This is my absolute favorite cover-up ever. And this is kind of like a red, deep coral color. Um, the company the um, brand is Becca by Rebecca Virtue. I actually got this at Nordstrom and it comes with these adjustable straps and it's kind of um, like asymmetrical at the bottom because it kind of comes to a point. So I love wearing this with my swimsuits. I can also wear this with shorts and um, you can also wear like a belt around the middle of the waist to kind of give it a different look. So I just pop this on over my swimsuit and I am covered up and ready to go. And as far as wearing something nice to a nice outing or a summer date night, I love, love wearing a maxi dress. It's just the most comfortable thing to wear and it's just so easy. You just throw on one long piece and you're, that's it. You just have to throw on some shoes and grab your bag and then go. So I have so many maxi dresses, which I just live in, especially when I was pregnant. <laughs> but maxi dresses for me are just like the perfect, perfect outfit because it's no like thinking behind it. You just grab it and go. So this is a recent one that I purchased. It's so beautiful. It's this blue kind of like, I don't know, Santa Fe kind of, um, pattern I don't really know I love how it kind of has this like extra fabric on the front and with the crochet um, ruffle here it's just so super cute I bought this at forever 21 it was on sale and I think it was around 15 16 dollars crazy I know love it Okay, so we are coming down to the last few items of my summer essentials and what I want to point out is if you are not a hat person and you want to wear your hair down and you like curled it or whatever and you just want to make sure that it is out of your face, I would 
add this really cute bandana, tie it at the very top, got these little floppy ears, pull your hair back. I have a little bit of hair right here just sticking out to the front. I just curled my hair with a curling wand and that's it. A super cute look and it will go with any outfit really. For my girls who are hat girls, I love, love, love wearing hats. I've got fedoras, visors, floppy hats, safari hats, uh, you name it. Anything, anything that you think of, I have it. So for summer especially, I try to do as much as I can to shade my sun. Shade my sun? Shade the skin. Shade the skin? Shade my skin from the sun because having the sun on my skin, I feel like, and I, you know, it's probably scientifically proven, but I'm not gonna go into that, that it really speeds up the aging process. And I mean, using all of these products, and that what we're kind of trying to avoid is aging. So I do my best to try and cover up my skin along with these other things that I use, these products. So I love my floppy hat that I got last summer. And it is just the cutest thing. It's so easy to travel with too. This thing provides such good coverage from the sun. I absolutely love this. This is my number, number one go-to for summer cover-up. I'll just throw it on with my hair down. Sometimes it can get a little bit hot, but as you can see, it just does a really good job of shading the sun, shading any light from coming down, and it also covers up my shoulders and the back of my neck. But what I also like to do, especially, especially when it's hot out, is pull all my hair up, wrap it around, maybe leave a little bit out, and then throw the hat on, and I've got a whole new look going, so. This is normally what I do, like 99% of the time, is just put my hair up, throw on some sunglasses, and this hat does all the work, along with the sunscreen, of course. So if you are looking for a lot of protection and still look chic, a floppy hat is the way to go. But if you are not a floppy hat girl, or say you're just not feeling like you wanna wear a floppy hat that day, then you can just reach for a good old fashioned ball cap. This is actually one of my favorite ball caps. This is true religion and I don't even remember where I got it, but it's just super cute and kind of rugged. So I like ball caps that kind of have a long bill because I feel like it's covering a little bit more of the sun and it just feels super comfortable. And last but not least, I have my main summer essential, which is a purple glass bottle. No, I'm just kidding. Water. This thing is full of water. Water is so important to be hydrated all year round, but most especially during summer months when you are out in the heat Maybe you're drinking some drinky drinks, but you know, you should always stay hydrated. This is super, super, super important. Water, drink water. And then once you are getting ready to leave out the door, you can put everything in a really cute bag. This is a canvas bag that, believe it or not, I made. I went to a sewing class and I sewed this together. I love the way it turned out. It's actually reversible. Look how cute! But you know what, I prefer this other side. So I am just gonna go ahead and put everything in my Summer Essentials bag. And for all of my selfie lovers, don't forget your selfie stick. I never thought I would own one of these, but you know what? This really does come in handy when you're trying to take pictures, especially with the big group. So if you have one of these, don't forget to put it in your bag. And if you don't have one of these, you can find these for really inexpensive. And it is pretty silly, but you know what? It's actually a really great thing to have. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out Destiny Marie's channel and her video on Summer Essentials. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Bye.